My name's Ken Farber. I'm the president of the Lucas Research Alliance, and we're here to talk about a topic that's been on everyone's minds, and that topic is vaccines for COVID-19. In this video series, we'll discuss how COVID-19 vaccines might impact lupus patients. So the $64,000 question is how COVID-19 vaccines will impact lupus patients. Let's be frank about it. Nobody knows for sure. And the reason for that is simply that there's no data. These vaccine technologies, at least the ones that will be coming around first, have not really been used before, and they certainly haven't been used before in lupus patients. There's nothing more critical for the Lupus Research Alliance than determining which of these new vaccine platforms are safe for lupus patients. The Lupus Research Alliance is about to embark on a $3 million program to test all of these vaccine platforms and determine how they impact something called the interferon signature in lupus patients. What's interferon? It's a chemical produced by the immune system to help the immune system fight viruses. One thing we know is that many, not all, but many lupus patients have what we call an elevated interferon signature. That means those patients may have too much interferon too much of the time. Elevated interferon levels are also associated with flares. One thing we want to determine is whether any of these vaccine platforms will cause elevation of interferon levels in lupus patients beyond what we see in patients who don't have lupus. We're embarking on a project which will help us determine whether lupus patients react to these new vaccines in the same way that patients without lupus react to these vaccines. What should lupus patients do in the meantime? Lupus patients should gather as much knowledge as they can. They should speak with their rheumatologist. They should see what their rheumatologist recommends, and they should make the best decision they can under the circumstances. And hopefully we'll be able to say that none of these new technologies will put lupus patients at risk. But in the meantime, in the meantime, the question about whether to get these vaccines is really reliant on a discussion between patients and their rheumatologists. Thank you to everyone for joining us for this series. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about vaccines, about vaccines for COVID-19, and for how they may impact patients with lupus. We make you a solemn promise, and that is that we will work tirelessly to find better treatments and ultimately a way to prevent and cure lupus.